In fact, this is for every guy. Every guy. You can be high status, low status, medium status. Who gives a f Truth yourself up. Today's video topic will be about top 10 ways to avoid false rape accusations. Let's get into it. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, so I'll go off for bang. Decided to make this video right here. It's a knowledge that most people won't admit, but there are a lot of false accusations going around. And right now, the way it is, the way things are, it is not safe to date. Even guys who perform PUA, pickup artists, to pick up chicks on the street, can get accused of certain acts and things just because the woman got offended by what you said. And the police will not back you up. The way things are right now, it is her word against yours and her word will always have more value and importance than your word. Because the way society, the way things are right now, you don't have help. It is, you are guilty until proven innocent. Not the other way around. Usually, you need proof for someone to be guilty. When it comes to rape accusations to men, they don't need proof. They won't even look for proof. You are on your own. The system is going to be against you. Women are going to be against you. You are on your own. It is the worst thing a man can go through. Number one thing he can do to avoid it, have a camera in your house. Most specifically, in your room, or in the living room, or in the entrance. Have a camera. If you can, have a camera in your room, or in all three. Why? Because having a camera is proof of the date of the time of the person you're with. You can go check the laws of how it is where you live, but you can have a camera in your own house or apartment or whatever. You can get one, you can buy one. Many versions out there, there are freaking cameras you can put on the ceilings, there are hidden cameras you can use, cameras on pens, cameras on buttons, on glasses, anywhere. Just have something in your room to watch over in case things don't go well. Let's say you bring a chick over and things don't go well. And the next day, she accuses you, you of something. You have tape before coming at your place and leaving completely fine. That is the importance. Because nowadays, things are very, very, very soft. People get offended easily. If she's a little bit on alcohol, she drinks one glass of wine, and she, does, she decides to get on with you, and then she decides that oh, it was rape. Even though I liked it. For some random reason, you can land on a girl who's just mentally not correct up there. And then she just sets you up. What do you do in that situation? Huh? You had a camera. Now you have proof. Having a camera in your room helps you to lose any anxiety of things. If things go bad, what happens? Because people, public people... Your image will be right away insulted. Look at Johnny Depp and Amber Hard. My bad, Amber Turd. Right there. Right there. They've, had, they've got all the proof they need. And Johnny Depp, who has way more money and status and people who love him than you, has a hard time proving his innocence, even with concrete evidence. Nowadays, you need to protect yourself in more ways than ever. Camera. Have a camera. It is concrete evidence of nothing happened. If it was consensual, it will prove your story. And that is a fucking important detail. Because it's your word against hers. And you need to do all the work by yourself to prove your innocence. Next one. Recording. If things aren't going well with a female, or if, if things are escalating, or just arguing, or you're with a chick and you're not sure how things are going to turn out, record. Start recording. You can buy the simplest app on your phone, just tap record, and there you go. There you go. 
Anything you say, anything she says, will be concrete evidence that you can use to leverage yourself and to protect yourself against false accusations. Filming, but that's the same one as recording or camera. But if things are escalating, grabbing your phone and filming yourself in the moment with the person right there and having a debate or the talk is important. It can protect you. Because now that she's being recorded, she knows that now people are going to be, be watching. She won't be as open to snap on you. And if she does, you will have evidence of her sporadic behavior or language or abuse or whatever the fuck she decides to do. No. Have someone with you whenever you are about to break up with someone. Whenever you're about to break up with a female, whether it be rotation, whether it be a fuck friend, whether it be a girlfriend, you name it. Have a friend with you. A mom, a sister, a friend that's a girl, a guy friend. Have someone with you whenever you're about to break up with someone or it's about moving or around those lines. Why? Because you have someone with someone with you for in case things escalate. For in case things escalate or she tries to make something up or pick a fight, you have someone with you as a witness who can back you up, who can take your side. Make sure it make sure that she cannot pull any little tricks or lie or say that you beat her up or that she was covered in bruises because you have someone with her. Making sure she cannot pull any tricks or lie or pick a fight. Because women will pull these little tricks, these manipulation victim mentality when they are alone with you. They will not do it if you're around someone else who's on your side. But never trust another female's friend. Because girls are all on the same side. If she's not your sister or your mom, don't expect much. Because women are always, are always on the other side. So always have a friend with you. Guy friend or sister or mom, preferably. Whenever you're about to break up with someone or give the bad news, something like that. Especially if you think this female is a little bit on the psychotic side. Or victim or delusional side. Now, use protection. I mean protection. You're with a chick? Make sure she's on birth control. If she's not, use protection condoms you cannot feel anything with condom cool go get viagra who gives a fuck use protection getting a chick pregnant does not mean she'll change it does not chicks will not change if they don't want to if you're a guy who thinks by getting pregnant your girlfriend or your wife will make them stick around and behave it won't in fact you're just bringing kids into this world for shitty mom don't bother check her ID. Check her ID and check the area around you. Where are you right now? Are you in a place that's more of the hood, it's more run down, it's more of hobos? Are you in a place that's more civilized and full public? Are you in a place more quiet and isolated? Where are you exactly? And what's her ID? Is she the proper age? Is it the right person? Yeah, make sure of these little details right here. Don't go full on frankly tell them. But if you're meeting a girl and she gives you an age, ask, okay, can I see your ID? Just to make sure. If she gets offended, tell her, you look younger than you look younger than what you tell me. There, you complimented her. But you say, but I'm not so easily persuaded. Can I see your ID? So you push, pull, and you're getting her ID to make sure. Depending on where, and now and depending on the area to where you're at, it has different rules. If you're more in the hood part, that shit is going to happen more often, more easily. If you're more in the civilized part where there's lots of people, odds are it won't happen as much. But you need to still keep your calm. And know that depending on where you are, she can get away with certain things. Now, not for guys who are more on the high level. In fact, this is for every guy. Every guy. You can be high status, low status, medium status. Who gives a fuck? Example, if you're a guy of high status, medium status, don't hang around with toxic women or low status women. If you're a high value male, a football player, a basketball player, a rich man, an entrepreneur, a lawyer, a banker, 
you fucking name it. If you're someone who's making lots of money, you got your shit together. Do not hang around low value toxic women. Because those women are the ones that are most fucking likely to lie, to be manipulative. They most of the time have issues up here, mental illnesses. Do not hang out with low value damaged women. Because they are lower status and lower status women are more likely to pull the shit on you. To save face, to not look like a whore or to just be praised as a victim. They will lie and say things that can get you in fucking jail. You don't want to deal with that? Then don't even hang with those chicks. Don't make them your girlfriend. It's even dangerous to have one night stands with these chicks because they can get obsessed with you or a liar or say that they were drunk. Which comes to the next one. Avoid girls who are on drugs or alcohol. Because they can decide to just change their mind in the middle of fucking or in the bedroom or after that it wasn't consensual even if she initiated it. It's why it's important to have a camera somewhere in the hallway, in the living room or in your room that shows that everything's going good. Now if she pulls something or falsely accuses you, she cannot get away with it. Do not deal with chicks that are on alcohol because now it's considered She's under the effects, therefore it's not consensual. Even though human beings will always want to do stuff under the influences, if you're a high value man, it's not worth it. Don't. All it takes is one word. She can go to one of her friends, man. One fucking word of her being a victim little hoe who doesn't want to admit it. Says one thing that, oh, he forced me into it. She says that to one of her friends, and it will spread like fucking wildfire then her guy friends will know then after guys want to pick a fight with you then after they're going to call the police and and whose side are they going to take whose side you're drunk she's drunk but she's a female you're the male they're all automatically going to consider her side and take her side over yours even if you're innocent even if you did nothing wrong that's not even the end of it even if you prove everything your name is ruined forever you need to go somewhere else live somewhere new Avoid chicks like this. Avoid the toxic, low vibe females. Avoid it. And take precautions like the cameras and recording. Like I said, something's going wrong, something bad. Call someone, have them come over. Have your camera or your recording on your phone on. Because it might save your fucking life. Which comes to my next point. If you're arguing with her, call a friend over. Call a friend over. A guy friend, a girlfriend, a sister, a cousin, a mom, whatever. You guys are arguing, don't argue and walk away. Walk away and invite someone over. Invite someone over. One, so they see that she's fine. Two, to protect you in case she snaps, she can't attack you. You don't self-defend yourself and then leave her a mark which can set you up for jail time. And three, you have support now. Having support is important because like I said, it's your word versus hers. You need, you need other people now. You need other things like recordings or proof to prove your innocence. Protect it and be smart about it. Be smart on who you hang out with. Remember, get yourself a camera. If arguments happen, start recording. Call someone over. If you want to break some bad news with a chick, bring someone with you. Always be prepared for the worst so you can avoid it don't forget to like my shit share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video take care